haunted places in Arizona. Arizona, the Grand Canyon state known for its scenic deserts and majestic mountains, has also its fair share of haunted places, blurry past and infamous tragedy and murders. Here is the list of 10 haunted places you may consider costly visit during Halloween or while you are around. Crown Plaza, Phoenix, Chandler Gold Resort, Chandler. Originally opened as the San Marcos Hotel in 1912, the resort that has hosted a number of Golden Age movie stars is now a paranormal hotspot. Guests have reported seeing a floating woman, hearing strange noises and moaning, and receiving unexpected phone calls from a mute voice on the other line. Hotel San Carlos, Phoenix Hotel San Carlos and Phoenix is believed to be haunted by the ghost of Leonie Jans, a 22-year-old girl who jumped off the seven-story hotel to her death after several weeks when the hotel first opened. According to witnesses, a girl mysteriously appears at the foot of their beds for several seconds until she goes to their doors and vanishes. Queen Hotel, Bisbee Copper Queen Hotel in Bisbee is reportedly haunted by resident spirit including a tall cab gentleman, a dancing woman and a young giggling boy. Visitors say they usually smell cigar smoke around the coast. Patrons have also said they heard little boys' footsteps running in the hall by their rooms. Theatre Tombstone In the 1880s, Tombstone's Birdcage Theatre was roughest, bodiest, and most weak night sport. It was a theatre, saloon, brothel, and gambling parlor. At least 26 people allegedly died within the building in shootout, stamblings, and suicide. Visitors claimed to see the murdered painted lady Margarita, women in white and proper lady in a white dress and a white carbonet. Carmelita Geminis 
Little, Carty, The Cold Dollar and Phantoms of Western Frontier. The Yuma Territorial Prison, Yuma. The Yuma Territorial Prison in Yuma is reported to be haunted by multiple entities, including the spirit of a little girl in red dress, death row inmate, and others. Vista Hotel Flagstaff Monte Vista Hotel in Flagstaff is believed to be haunted by the meatman, bank robber, a phantom bellboy and elderly woman. Bank robber bleed to death in the downstairs cocktail lodge in 1970. A phantom bellboy knocks on the door of room number 210 and announces room services. Bellboy also cries out regularly in the building's basement. Elderly woman is seen in a rocking chair near the window of the third floor of room. Orpheum Theatre, Phoenix Built in 1928, the gorgeous theatre in downtown Phoenix is haunted. Along with catching incredible performances on stage, guests can catch a glimpse of little girl named Mary and other ghostly apparitions. Mary has been known to tape people on the shoulder, shush people and lives in the balcony area. The Cherom Grand Hotel, Cherom. In 1926, United Ward Hospital, now the Charon Grand Hotel, is said to be haunted by patients who never left the hospital and others. Patrons reported to hear coughing, labor breathing, and even voices coming from empty rooms. Visitors also reported smells of flowers, dust, cigar smoke, and whiskey coming from these rooms. paranormal activities including lights going on and off and the television sets turning themselves on are also reported Walter Cold Mine Maricopa County According to legend, at least 18 miners swung from its limes for stealing gold at hanging tree in Walter Coal Mine in 1860s. Even today, visitors feel the cold spot and hear the voices of apparitions telling them, "Get out and you are going to die." Casey Moore 
was Oyster House Tempe. Casey Moore's Oyster House in Tempe is allegedly haunted by Sarah, who was struggled to death in the building by her children boyfriend, an unidentified boy whose photo was found during renovations. Visitors have reported seeing figures moving around after closing time through the windows of Casey Moore's second floor. Please like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe our channel. Press bell icon, to see updates on our latest videos.